Happy Saturday. Welcome to the vlog. This morning, oh, oh my gosh. <clears throat> this morning has been nothing short of chaotic but honestly I don't really have anything to complain about because it's still been a relatively productive morning this is like if you watched my previous vlog today is Saturday so my last vlog finished on Friday that was a whole week in week in the life this is now the weekend this is Auckland anniversary weekend this weekend so public holiday on Monday which I am very much looking forward to last night we had Tangel's 21st and so we didn't get home last night till oh it was like 11 which honestly that's not really that late so I was in bed by half past 11 slept until 8 and woke up and it's it's just been kind of chaotic since. I was meant to be meeting Taya at 10 o'clock because we were going to go into town and run some errands together. It is now 20 to 11 and clearly I'm not at Taya's house. The chaos kind of started. This is such a first world problem. With my footage from my vlogs, I store it on an external hard drive and my four terabyte external hard drive that I've had for my whole YouTube journey is full. So I bought a new one and I've just gone this morning to transfer the footage from my SD card and my camera from my week in the life onto the hard drive so that I have space to film this video but the hard drive doesn't work and it is a hundred percent user error I know that it, it's supposed to work and I just can't anyway I only have 50 minutes worth of space left on this SD card so I have 50 minutes of space to figure out how to get my hard drive to work otherwise this vlog is going to come to a very abrupt end because normally for vlogs I film like an hour and a half of content and then like get it down to like 15-20 minutes. So <laughs> that stalled me for like a good 45 minutes this morning which was unplanned and I'm currently home alone and so when I'm home alone don't get me wrong it's not that bad but it means that all of like the household jobs fall on me because I'm the only one here. Normally I would spend my Friday night doing a house clean. I was not here last night so that had to happen at some point this weekend but I have people coming over today so I'm like I want to get the house clean done this morning so I just zoomed around the house with the vacuum cleaner clean the bathroom and then I realized that there's a big mountain of washing that was sitting waiting to be folded and put away so that brings me to where I am now and this is my stack of activewear from the week that needs to go uh, in the in my drawers and I also have washing to hang out because I washed my sheets this morning because I normally do it on a Friday but I couldn't find my spare sheets yesterday so I couldn't do it yesterday and it's just been I've just been thrown out of my routine and I'm not really coping that well onwards and upwards from here going into town to meet Taya we're gonna run some errands together and it's gonna be a great time it's gonna be a great time I'm trying to convince myself at the same time this is a primo spot to put my camera this is great I can't drive with it there but I can sit with it there all right Taya let her know that I'm on my way <coughs> Hello. Hey gal, I'm just leaving now. <laughs> Thank goodness you didn't leave any earlier. <laughs> okay, that's music to my ears. Alright, see you soon. Okay, see you soon, bye. Bye. Honestly, we are just always in the same wavelength and it is fantastic. So it is crazy because exactly a year ago today, we were waking up the morning after the Auckland floods. Oh, that day was just like absolute chaos and will be forever etched into my brain. My Nana's rest time got flooded so we had to go. Well, I personally, I literally couldn't go into the building. There's a lot of things I can do in life but walking into that building, I was like, I have way too many happy memories here to remember this in the state that it's in. I spent the whole day like pulling her photo albums apart. They were all covered in mud because I was like, I refuse to be a family that has a hole in their history because we don't have photos from a whole generation. <laughs> hey bro. Hey. <laughs> First stop's gonna be Marta 10 and then um, we'll see what happens from there. <laughs> hey Emma. Yeah. I think I <laughs> like this little life. <laughs> that was so loud. Have you not seen that tree? Yeah, <laughs> Why is that traffic? This is the best place in the world to be. <laughs> Where else would you be on a Saturday morning? I can think of many places. <laughs> Rather than be on a Saturday morning. Stunning! Back in your old stomping grounds, bro. Oh yeah, this is my. Tay used to work here, guys, when she was back in high school and uni, actually, a little bit. Which one do we use? Mm. This one. Yeah, I was looking at that one. I think that's what I used last time. This is my list that I made um, in April 2023. So we've got the canvases. We need the plaster, a trowel, adhesive spreader and a massage ball just for like effect. We found the tools. What about this little pack? Little Miss Mitre 10 coming in clutch. Found it. What else did we find? A Some 6 like mil and a 10 mil Adhesive spreader. And then what's that one? That's a Three doing. piece. Scraper set. Stunning. Hey, was filling out the staff survey. Well, the customer survey so the staff get chocolate. So if you've ever got a Mitre 10, make sure you do the customer survey at the bottom of your receipt and the employees get chocolate. So really we are also eating chocolate right now. <laughs> Next stop is Rebel Sport. I need a running headband because I've been wearing my visor while I run because I don't have a headband. Taya needs. I want a tennis racket. Mm-hmm. 
and tennis balls. Great. I'm in my tennis girl. Tenno, tennis girl tennis era. Tennis girl era. She's an Australian Open who? Coco Goff who? <laughs> Who's on the front here? Djokovic. And? Coco Goff. <gasps> I knew that. <laughs> What's your last name? Goff. Oh, Goff. Coco Goff who? <laughs> she oh, reckons that she's a tennis player. I watched the meme found a massage ball which is going to double as a home gym accessory but we're also going to use it for our plaster art to make some fun funky textures. Guess how much? Oh it's going to be expensive if you said guess how much. Like a couple hundred. See now that doesn't make me feel as bad. About that one. Oh it's light. Oh that's even lighter. I know nothing about tennis so I don't know why. But <laughs> but I, like, I also feel like that's a small. If I showed up with this, would think I was oh, This would be all the gear. No, no idea. idea. That's how much? Was this in the 300 mark? $399.99. <gasps> and, and it doesn't even have chocolate. <laughs> hey guys, I don't have my glasses because they're currently in my parents' car, which is currently a fun day. I looked at these balls and I was like, oh, that's funny. It says play and slay. Smile. <laughs> guys, don't judge me. My parents don't live here anymore, okay? So yeah, Tay's parents actually live the other end of the country. I've so got to update them on what I'm doing in my life. That is for Tay's dad. That is for my dad. Okay, <laughs> don't judge me. Alrighty, we've been to the pharmacy. I need some more SPF. This is the SPF I use on my face. It's a CeraVe one. And Tay is... Oh. <laughs> quite a lot. Is that a lot? Yeah. Oh. That's yeah. probably why it turns white on my face when I do my other one. I'm introducing Tay to the world of CeraVe SPF. Anytime that Emma recommends a product, I take her word as like Bible because her parents are pharmacists, so she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Parents degree is transferable to me. But she's got the knowledge, she was brought up. Just like how I'm secretly an electrician. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna trust you to wire up my whole house. Tay's got some planning to do, I've got some study to do. That's gonna be our afternoon. I feel like I'm ready for a nap, eh? <laughs> Bit of a moy. What time did you wake up this morning? Eight. Yeah, I was up some other time. Bro, I like it. Yeah. Live, love, CeraVe. You know how CeraVe you know, like, just come to New Zealand recently and it's like a big thing? Mm. I used to have to import CeraVe from America to use on my skin and it was so expensive. We are home and I'm so tired. Oh, I don't have my tripod so this is... I'm just going to have to hold it. I just made myself some lunch which probably looks like an absolute mess but it's just a sandwich i dropped her home but i think she might come over shortly maybe praise the lord i found a five minute and eight second youtube video that perfectly explained how to set up my hard drive and so it is done it literally took me like two seconds why did i not just search it up in the first place it is ready to go for me to put footage on so i'm gonna just take this sd card out do some footage transferring and get this hard drive set up this is what I call procrasta baking. I have made a batch of Afghan bakeries. This is the signature Taya Shaw recipe and it is delicious. It's like nearly three o'clock and I'm just, I'm chilling, but I do need to do some study after this. And my brain is just like, it's not really on today, eh? Like I feel like I just, I'm awake, but my brain's not. Right, let's get these bad boys in the oven. These smell so good. Stunning. I was going through the photos from Tajel's 21st last night. I put them into a Google Drive so the girls can all see them as well. But I took my other, like my old camera, my Canon G7X. I don't know why I say old camera. I still have it and I still use it. It is unmatched for taking photos, especially when the flash is on. And the photos came out so good. So I'm just deciding I want to do like a little Instagram post to be like, happy 21st, Tajel. I haven't started studying yet, in case you're wondering. Guys, Tay is here. The chocolate on top, I need to just melted it on. I feel like I'm being judged by Gordon Ramsay, like when you cook someone else's dish and then they... <laughs> you can't mess it up though. Tay is still here, she's just shifting her car because my parents just got home, but she's planning. She's got like the reading journals, like trying to plan stuff for her students. And I was like, I need to see this because the plays, if you're a Kiwi kid, the plays in the school journals are iconic. I cannot act to save myself, but I used to find them so fun. Dinner time, got pizza. Mine doesn't have anchovies though. I'm actually surprised at how well my curls have held. Oh, they're kind of dropping now. From last night. They've actually, they've served me pretty well. I've kind of committed to the curls. Like, if I was to strain it now, it just wouldn't. It's got hairspray in it, it's gonna be a, a bit not that nice. So, I'm gonna recurl it. And yes, I know it's literally 8 pm and I'm gonna be going to bed shortly. But I'm going to church tomorrow. So, I'm gonna recurl it. And then when I wake up in the morning, it's gonna be ready to rumble. And then I can go to church with a nice curled hair without having to wake up like an half an hour earlier to do it. Got myself parked up on my little bar stool. I just have like random pieces of the flat just like around my parents' house and this is one of them. Phone, I'm gonna stick it to my mirror and watch a YouTube video. Also, this sticky thing is like, it's annoying because it sticks to like, like, listen to this. 
Like it's definitely sticky. Um, I got a pack of 12 of them from Dick Smith for like, oh no, a pack of eight of them from Dick Smith for $12. I'm gonna chuck on a YouTube video, curl my hair, and then probably go to sleep. So look how, look how ideal this is. I just have a YouTube video playing in the middle of my mirror. First curl is done, how cute. This is gonna take a while. Guys, I just remembered that since mum and dad are home, my glasses are also home. So I can finally see, I was like sitting here trying to curl my hair. I was like, I can't see what I'm doing. Gosh, I was taking my sweet time. And that took me an hour. It's very, very curly. Hopefully the curls will drop overnight. Like it, it looks stupid right now. Everyone's like, oh, it looks so cute. No, it doesn't. Don't lie to me. It's been like half an hour and I'm off to bed now. But the curls have already dropped quite a lot just in the past half hour. And I'm going to laugh so hard if I wake up in the morning and they're like non-existent. Look at this. Oh, my voice is croaky. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. I've just woken up and moment of truth. Let's see if how my hair has held up during the night. I tied it up, which I'm hoping I don't have like a hair tie bum. I most definitely do. Dang it. I thought by using this that it would be fine, but no, it's so not fine. That looks a little bit silly. It looks like I've had like a headband. But I've woken up and it's like, it's a pretty gloomy day, but it's not really meant to rain. This is the plan anyway, provided that the weather stays fine. I'm gonna carpool with Tay at a church and then we're gonna meet Sage and Hannah, who you guys will get to meet Hannah at some point in this vlog and meet them out at the Clevedon markets. I'm just probably praying that the weather holds out. Like it's just gray. I need to do my ASMR. <laughs> I need to do my quiet time. <laughs> Go, go, go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the door's sweeping! Oh, my sorry. <laughs> I've got to go. I feel late to church. <laughs> but this bus, Jesus, is teaching me patience. This is the worship music school. in the background for me. We made it. Better late than never. So I say, let's go worship our Lord and Savior. But we probably missed the worship. Things a bit sore. <laughs> so man. I feel like I'm around a rat right now. So glad that I bought my umbrella and left it in the car. It's raining. <laughs> Since it's raining, we are meeting Sage and Hannah at the Farmhouse Cafe in Clevedon. How about they're allowed to go to the market? We can still go. Yeah. Just because it's raining, it doesn't mean we can't go. You brought an umbrella for a reason, right? You didn't bring an umbrella so that it could be sunny. True. <laughs> Jack's thoughts and opinions on church today? So good. So good. This is the last. If you've been watching my vlogs the past few weeks, they've been doing Life at the Movies, which is like, they pull apart a movie and like talk about how it relates back to like biblical principles and stuff. Today the movie was Jesus Revolution, which I never even heard of that movie before in my life, but I now want to go home and watch it yeah, because it looks so it good. It was really good. And Praise and Worship popped off as well. That was as really always. Good. As always. Oh, also, I have something cool to show you. Okay, you ready to see something cool? There's a car. Sorry. Ah, as you can see. <laughs> Sage and Hannah are like 20 minutes away. So we are coming to the market to kill some time because I don't think they want to be out in the rain. So we're going to zoom around the market, do our thing for the local economy, and then we're going to meet them at the cafe. What have we got? Cinnamon, <laughs> apple, pretzel. Yum. Yeah. En route to the cafe, little haul. I got a, a lemon pretzel. You can't see it. Oh, see it in there? Nice. I got a nice big loaf of sourdough bread and a bottle of nectarine and peach kombucha. And now we're going to meet Sage and Hannah. And Taya is going to drop me off and go and have lunch with her man. No, your gran. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> so it turns out the cafe is uh, shut on Sundays and Mondays. So we're now going into the village. I was laughing at Taylor. I was like, what if the girl's like, oh, all good, let's just go to the market instead. So right, I'm gonna just leave it in my car and I'll drop it off to you later. <laughs> no, I'd actually go back a second time because we didn't get to look at the whole thing because I was like, I got places to be. Morning guys. Good morning. Sage is here and this is Hannah. <laughs> we are back at the market because um, Sage has her eyes on pretzels. <laughs> yeah, if they don't have a cheesecake one. I've been dreaming about these curly pretzels. <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> we got a kombucha mocktail. Yeah. Tropical something. Tropical something. Tropical with something. like tropical kombucha. Yeah. And cute little straws. Close up shop. <laughs> really oh my god. Honeybee. That's so cute. Good. I'm in heaven. Stoked. Oh, Michael, get the lemon one. That one's so good. Hi. Oh, camera off, eh? Yeah. Mine one's better than yours. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> I'm home. 
home and I'm about to do a scalp treatment for my psoriasis and so I need to take off all my jewelry. Great morning. Dropped the girls home and now I'm home. What am I going to do with the afternoon? Great question. It's a work in progress but I'm really trying to keep my Sunday as like a Sabbath of just doing things that I love, spending time with the people that I love and it just being a time of rest. I'm going to sit down with my book and I'm gonna finish it straight up by Ruby Tui. I have like hardly anything left, so I'm just gonna finish it. Say goodbye to the curls, cause next time you see me, my hair will either be wet or straight. <laughs> I am back. I've done my scalp treatment. I've showered. I finished the book. Honestly, it was a good read. It only occurred to me in the past, like the last 20 pages of this. The reason that I struggle so much to get through nonfiction is because like, yes, there's a storyline, but it's not like a predictable storyline, like a fiction book where you like, are so invested because you want to know where it goes. Whereas this is like, not necessarily like a storyline. Next up, we have Never Never by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher. Time to get invested. Hey Siri, what's the time? It's 9.27 p.m. I have been sat in this room like five hours. I did go downstairs and have some dinner. <laughs> I am like over a third of the way through. I am hooked. This is like a psychological thriller. I have no idea. No idea what's going on. If you know me, you know that I, I, I don't read the synopsis. I have not read this. I don't know what's going on. More dinner. Happy Monday. I have got my little pop-up desk in front of me and I'm going to do a little bit of study. It is 9.40 a.m. I set my alarm for 6 o'clock this morning. Opened my eyes and I was like, no. <laughs> Need more sleep. Woke up at 7. Did my week one note. That's not, no. Week seven run one of my eight week zero to five kilometer running program I'm doing at the moment. Had some breakfast and now here we are. So I'm gonna do a little bit of study. I'm hoping to just get through like one unit, which might take me like an hour. That'll probably take me through to like 11 o'clock and then I'll do a little bit of YouTube editing. Oh, I've got a video going up tonight. I'm so excited. So I just remembered that I haven't done my little Bible plan for today. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me talking about it on my story about I want to get back into doing group Bible plans. There are 70 of us who are currently in doing a relationship goals one. I'm going to go through and do this now. We're up to day three. So it's only five days. But if you're keen to get in on these, I will do more in the future. So if you want to join us for them, follow me on Instagram and keep an eye on my story because that's where I will share about it. You do like a little devotion. Oh, that's not even that long. A little reading and then it has a couple of Bible verses and then there's like an area to reflect where I encourage people to like drop their thoughts because it's so good to learn from other people and like create a bit of a conversation and people bring up stuff where it's like oh my gosh I didn't even think about it like that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sitting like that. I just spent like well it's been like three two two and a half two and a half dang that's good two and a half hours I had a lunch break in between and I pretty much finished editing the video that you guys will see before this one. We're on a roll here. Dinner is ready. Mum has made zucchini and bacon fritters. Why is my camera not focusing? Oh. Autofocus. There we go. Fritters, salad, potato gems, and some kombucha, which has all the pieces in it. it is like just after eight o'clock, 10 past eight. And I want to have an early night tonight. I also need to do my teeth whitening. I went and got my teeth professionally done at the Whitening Co last week, which you guys would have seen in my previous vlog. And they recommended that to maintain it, that I use the at-home kit, which I already have, that I got for Christmas last year. Well, actually no, not last year, the year before. I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. Also, this part is not sponsored. When I went into the Whitening Co and they did it for me, that was gifted, so shout out to them. My mother, gave, oh, it's on, um, gave this kit to one each to my dad, my brother and I for Christmas in 2022. It comes like this. You just twist it and then it comes out like that. And then you just paint it on your teeth. And then you just get this. And then like this. And you press the button. And it turns on. And you 25 minutes. Stunning. All right, it is nine o'clock and it is time for me to go to bed. I just realized that I've been vlogging like as of today, like 11 days in a row. I had the Papa Moore vlog, Week in the Life, and now this video. So if you've watched all three of those videos, you have just been with me for 11 days in a row. So thank you so much for your loyalty. The day off today has been so nice. I feel so like motivated, inspired, and ready to get into the week. And of course, since today is a public holiday, it's only a four day work week, which is stunning. As you can tell, my brain is 
it's not really ready to go to sleep right at this precise moment so I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling there's dear me and dear future and the guided journals that my lovely friend Hannah created so I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling to help slow down my mind thank you guys so much for watching I've had an absolute blast vlogging the past 11 days and I feel like it's really like reignited my love for vlogging and like YouTube will always forever and always be my favorite platform anyway thank you guys so much for watching stay safe stay well make someone smile and I will see you in my next video oh, that's gross my boogers just came out my nose probably wow this tripod is slaying absolute slow